Aloha everyone and welcome to another Carbon 60 video by me, K. Elmer, and in this video I am just sharing the results of my experiments using heat during the stirring process of making C60 oil. Uh, it came out pretty interesting. I thought I'd share it. I thought you'd be interested in it. Let's jump in. So first thing you need to know uh, is that, you know, I'm not doing this for grades <laughs> or getting paid. So I did mix stuff around, you know, I, it's not apples to apples. So, hey, you know, you know, give me a break. Uh, please don't uh, give me a hard time about that. Okay, so I, I know. Uh, but I, so things were changing during the experiment, and I just want to point out what was changing. So one of the things that was changing was the type of C60 I was using, because uh, I, I get it from Layla Labs, okay, uh, and the older version, they just switched to a new version. So uh, when I did it the first time, it was the old version, which is just regular powdered C60, okay? And then in the experiments two and three, I used their newer version, which they call pulverized. And if you look at the difference between the two and sorry I don't have a picture uh, the, the, the original one is uh, more granular like typical powdered C60 you buy anywhere uh, and then the newer one is much more finer in texture kind of like you know granulated sugar versus powdered sugar right except black <laughs> and so that's kind of the difference between uh, you know the different textures of the C60 same C60 99.95 purity uh, from Layla Labs just the texture was different during the course of the three experiments so keeping that in mind. And then what I did try based on the results of one, I would try something different the next and different the next, which is my methodology, okay? Like I said, I'm not doing this to get paid or getting any grades. No one's grading my homework here, so I don't care. So, <laughs> but you'll find out, you know, uh, what the uh, results are, uh, pr I think are pretty much uh, speak for themselves. So uh, I did change the type of oil from one to two to three. Uh, I'm just using up what I got in my house, okay? So... Uh, avocado, and then I used uh, Bragg's olive oil, then I used Eleonora. Uh, and so then, but the key thing was, was I was trying to see what happens when you stir just 24 hours at 67 degrees. And then I did it again, 24 hours at 67 degrees, and then seven days at 26 degrees to kind of compare three against two with number one being my baseline. Okay, that's kind of what I did. Uh, the one thing that's weird about one was I, I was spaced out that morning, and I've put in a full gram instead of the regular 0.8 gram, which is kind of cool when you see what happened to it. Anyway, so uh, after I did these stirs, I'd let it settle for 10 days, and then I'd filter it. Uh, yeah, I always filter using a 0.22 uh, micron filter, okay? Standard. So that's kind of what I did. So let's go ahead and let's walk through uh, the results. So uh, first things first, this is the pulverized with avocado, 67 degrees stirring, 24 hours. Now check that out. Whoops. Okay, so this is what I want to point out right here. See that? That's the bottom of the flask, and all you see are these little larger, they're probably like, I don't know, that's got to be like a few hundred nanometers across, but these tiny little, that's it though. That's all that C60 that's left after I pulverized it. Okay, so I bought the regular powdered. I pulverized it myself in a steel mortar pestle. You just put the powder in there, add a little bit of oil, just grind it down, and then spatula it into the oil. Really simple stuff. But this is what happens when you pulverize your own. You stick it in the oil, and this was only 24 hours stirring now. Okay, and the only thing I did wrong with this one is I forgot to uh, record what it what the oil looks like. I just recorded with the flask. There we go. Okay, so so that's what it looked like, and and so there was almost no residual C60 left in the uh, flask, and then of course that's the finished product. But you, I forgot to be able, you know, you could see the light shining through it. Now this is the next one. Okay, now this one is experiment number two, only 24 hours again, 67 degrees again for 24 hours, olive oil this time, not avocado. But this was not pulverized, meaning I didn't mess with it. So I just bought it. It, you know, it's it's got a finer texture, but I, and I didn't do anything to it. I just put it in the oil um, and it kind of clumps up and then spins around. So it's kind of cool what it looks like when it does that. I actually posted that to Telegram. So it's not, I didn't pulverize it. It's supposedly pulverized ahead of time. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And it's very fine. You can see the very fine texture. And I'll tell you, you know, after 24 hours, there was definitely residual C60 left. So w my thinking on this one was like, okay, uh, I didn't pulverize it this time. It, it did really well in the avocado oil, um, and I didn't mess with it. But when you don't mess with it, this is what happens. So I thought, okay, so that was 24 hours, 67 degrees. But what the cool thing is, though, and I really want to point this out, just 24 hours at heat, 
These are what the filters look like. I just did uh, 350 milliliters per filter. So the first two came out clear. Obviously, the last one has the sediment because that's the bottom. And then this, but this is what's nice. This is the filtered product, the finished product, right? Check that out. It's perfect. It's beautiful. And when you look at the amount of residual uh, remaining on the, uh, well, you know, it's quite a bit. I would say, you know, quite a bit in terms of how much I put in, and I put point eight grams uh, and you'd, I would say that there's I don't know I'm guessing you know maybe like I probably saturated a good 90 percent of it but what's left on the bottom of the of this right here plus what's on the filter you know it's definitely you know there's some left behind so I would say at least 90 percent saturation of 0.8 grams do the math okay but that was batch number two we're using heat so the first thing I wanted to do after this batch was the third batch I wanted to see okay, okay so now what happens with the third batch was uh, I didn't again I just used the uh, the C60 uh, right out of the um, uh, the vial I didn't mess with it it's you know the finer coarse uh, I mean the finer grain C60 uh, put that in 0.8 per liter uh, and you can see the finished product here is just this beautiful crimson red which is what you want right that's the finished product and this time though how much of the C60 was left behind this was one week of stirring, but only at 26 degrees centigrade, roughly room temperature, right? Um, and so this is what was interesting. There was a lot more C60 left behind at a lower temperature. So you can see how much is like sitting in there. I mean, just look at the, uh, it's quite a bit. I would say it's it probably equal to the other one. Uh, it is a little darker though, in terms of, you know, it's so hard to measure this. So I'm guessing another 90% saturation. I left some C60 behind. And then what's interesting here is that the filter showing the brown residue, which is essentially the, the impurities of the C60 powder itself is what turns brown, not the oil. So the point here that I want to make is that my findings are Based on these three separate batches, what that was that number one is that even though you know the product says it comes pulverized and that when you look at it, it does look finer, uh, like powdered, right, uh, versus granular. It's still, I think, very important that when you're making C60 oil, you get them steel, a stainless steel mortar pestle, and then just just grind it yourself. Just grind it down as just as, as fine as you can get it after you you know you buy it with the oil and then put it in because definitely uh, one of the findings was was that if you pulverize it yourself before you add it to oil then you have a much higher saturation okay right off the bat and then the second thing though was when you look at the the two that were heated versus the one that wasn't that was just at 26 degrees centigrade that stirring with heat does reduce the stirring time it was you got a much fuller saturation or you got a good saturation i should say with heat um, than you did with room temperature. So there's something there. And I, I think that the outcome of these three experiments is really these two things, is that if you pulverize your C60 before you add it to oil and you use heat, then you can really, really, really reduce your stirring time. But then you've got the argument, right? As the experiments show, you don't get that full 0.8 saturation. But I want to point out something that was in my last video on C60. What have we learned? It was an addendum to part one. Um, and it was this video um, that the C60 Evo guys, which is the same guys as SES Research, um, those guys put, uh, posted a comment in my video and pointed to this video that they had made. And uh, this is what I want to point out. Now, uh, C60 Evo quote says, hey, Chris Burris and SES Research Labs purchased 22 online C60 products in March of 2020 to test their C60 concentrations per their label. Now, everybody's label says 0.8 milligrams per milliliter. Here's the deal. The lab called the overall results woefully low because many of the companies had only 10 to 30% of the maximum concentrations promised. So when you looked at the video a second ago, you saw that there was a good, you know, 90% of the C60 was gone. It was not laying on the bottom of the beaker. It wasn't stuck in the filter. It was gone. It was in the oil. And so, you know, we're talking about even if it leaves residual, this is my point, actually. My point is, is that even if it leaves residual, you are getting a much higher concentration product than you could buy online. By doing it yourself and if you use heat you can do it a lot 
faster. So this is my point is, hey, if you want to make C60 oil, you want to do it really quickly, and you want to have a really good product, hey, the best idea I think we can come up with at this point, and, and I want to tinker some more, but hey, use heat. Get a hot plate, you know, get a hot plate stir. Uh, and, you know, they're not cheap. I'm sorry, if you, you know, for those of you guys who can't afford them, but, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's if you can. If you make a lot of batches, it might be worth it to you. Okay, that's my point. Uh, and so, but use heat and boom, 24 hours, let it sit for 10 days, and there you go. My next experiment is just going to be stir it 24 hours and then filter and see what that looks like. I'm going to do that next. But I, I ran out of Myron bottles to store the stuff. I got three liters stacked up plus extra. I got way too much C60 oil right now. I got yeah, to gotta consume it down before I make more batches. So, but that's what I'll be doing in the future. And there you go. That's what I learned. And I wanted to share it with you. Um, and, hey, thank you for uh, listening to me blather about this. I just finished the last one this morning, as I said. thought I'd just whip this up together real quick and kind of just share it with you. Because uh, I found it to be really interesting. Because you know what? No one has ever talked about doing this before. We've talked about using ultrasonics. And we've talked about stirring. And <laughs> But here we go. Use heat. There's the new secret on how to make it quickly. You could get it done in 11 days, um, and that's a pretty cool thing. So uh, there you go, and it, you might even be able to get it done in one day. That's going to be my next experiment. But, hey, there's something for you to tinker with. Thank you again for watching my video. Really appreciate your time. Happy New Year. And also, if you have any questions about making C60 oil, uh, you know, hey, you can always reach me and other folks that are doing it all the time over on our Telegram C60 chat group. Links in the video description below. Mahalo, and thank you very much. You guys have a good day.